Hello everybody and welcome to St. Cuthbert Plays Divinity Original Sin 2. Um, so this game has been out for a little while, I'm sure most of you have heard of it before. It's one of these um, RPG style turn based games. Um, so I'm actually super excited for this, I love playing these kind of games. I've played a lot of Neverwinter Nights, uh, Pool of Radiance, that kind of thing. So I'm super excited to get into this. So without further ado, let's get going. Um, so I've already kind of played this a little bit just to get used to kind of the mechanics, things like that. So. I think what I'm gonna do for um, this playthrough is play a uh, lizard warrior or a fighter, I guess they're called. Um, what I really want to do for this game is you can do either usually it's a four-man party you can have, but you can get this trait called or a talent, I guess. Um, it's called Lone Wolf, so it makes you stronger as long as you are with so more vitality, more armor, more magic resist. So you're just tankier, uh, and I think it also gives you more moves per turn. Um, you know, I might also also do yeah it doubles the amount of points you get when you level up so like when you level up instead of being able to put one thing into one of your base stats you can put two so you can get two strength two con whatever things like that um so i'm going to try to go with that so i'm going to end up only having a party of two i don't think you can do it pure solo i think you need to have somebody else otherwise it's just straight too hard um, i'm only playing on classic right now just because i'm not sure how difficult it's going to be with lone wolf um, if I do decide it's too easy, I can turn it up in game. You can do that. Um, you can always go up in level. You can't go down. So, excuse me, if I was playing on Tactician, I could go back down to Classic. Um, just, I don't know why. I just kind of screw you, I guess. If you're playing something hard, they want you to keep it hard. So, we're going to start off on Classic. It's kind of the like normal. It's not super easy. It's not the super hard one, but it's just kind of average. So, if it is too easy, we'll turn that up. Um, so, anyway, let's get started. We'll do Appearance real quick. Um, I'm not super picky about appearance. I'm going to be one of these lizard folks, so it's really just color. Um, and I can do different like horns and stuff like that. So I kind of like the orange. I'm going to keep that um, face. I just, that's derpy as hell. Look at that. Jesus Christ. That's incredible. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and just be um, McDerps a lot here and keep that with the incredible horns. That's <laughs> glorious as all hell. Um, what is this hair color? Oh, I guess it just changes the horns a little bit. Um, fire opal. I kind of like the red. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna keep that. Match my clothes. Uh, voice. Oh, almost same. got me that time. Better luck next time. Better luck next time. Better luck next time. I like, really like this <laughs> nice one with that try. face. So I'm gonna go with that. I think. Uh, facial features. I don't know if I can get any. Yes, yeah, none. So we're gonna do that. Uh, presets. This is a kind of I can edit my stats. Um. Like I said, I'm kind of going for this tanky fighter build with this guy. Um, so I'm probably just going to go straight tank. Because my big plan, or my overall grand scheme of things here, is I'm going to go real tanky with this guy. And just sword and board kind of style. Um, get in the middle of the fight, throw some CC out there, just kind of contain everybody. And then as my other character, I'm going to have them... Um, be some kind of ranger or rogue something like that another physical type damage dealer because um, I don't know if you guys know but in this game you have magical damage and you have physical damage um, so enemies have these I guess you call them shields they're like secondary health bars I guess um, that you have to deal either magic damage or physical damage to get through so if I have my tank doing physical damage and my mage doing um, or my secondary damage dealer my DPS doing magic damage the DPS will get through the magic shell but then I won't be able to CC any of them because I need to get to the magic or the physical shell before I can get to do some CC because you need to get to the, to the direct health bars before you can knock people down, things like that. So I'm going to do two of the same damage type just to prevent any problems that way. So uh, strength con, that sounds fine. A little tankier, some damage. Um, I'm going to screw with this. Like I said, I'm not going to be casting any spells. Uh, usually fighters do end up having like a geomancy, which is like rocks. You can make oil, things like that. Um, but I'm going to be purely physical. So I'm probably just going to do... Um, so I want weapons. Retribution is super. I love retribution, especially um, as you get going a little bit, as you get tankier, because the amount of damage you take um, ends up reflecting back at the enemy. So it's a certain percent. So it starts at five percent damage reflection at level one. So, but as you get the higher and higher up, you end up more. But I think early levels, while I'm not super tanky, I'm kind of going to be softer, um, at least until probably like on a level five. I feel like is probably when that starts being relevant. Um, I think it's not going to be worth it, so maybe I'll go into it. Um, there is a point in the game where I can respec. Um, you end up after the first act, I think it is. Um, there's a special mirror you can use that allows you to transform your abilities. So I could even go from going to fighter to straight mage. You can completely transform everything. Um, so I am just going to start off probably just going to second point of warfare. Um, 
My other thought too was to go into necromancy because first of all, it heals you whenever you deal damage. Um, so that would help with my tankiness, but also you can use spells, um, that like bring you back to life. Um, they end up, if you take damage, your enemies take an equal amount of damage. So I might end up going into Necromancer later in the game. But like I said, early in the game, I don't think it's as good. So I'm probably just going to go a couple points of warfare. I can always change later after I get through act one. Um, and I get kind of those stronger spells as well as some source points that I can start using. Um, you'll understand what source points are in a little while. If you haven't played this before, um, it's kind of like your, your magic pool, but we're not able to use it the first act for the most of it anyway. Um, so, uh, personality bard, I'm going to get rid of barding and persuasion. Cause I'm going to try to talk my way through some of these encounters rather than just going full aggro murder. Everybody I see and try to kill everything that moves. Um, just cause I feel like that has some depth to the game. I like kind of role playing and getting into the character and really understanding what they're doing. Um, talents, like I said, we're doing lone wolf. So I have to take that to start off with, um, lone wolf tags um these tags they add um dialogue options when you're talking to certain characters so i can do barbarian gesture mystic noble outlaw scholar soldier um you get to pick two i believe um so so far i have lizard and male so those are going to be also dialogue options i have when speaking to certain characters some you don't always have those options just when you're talking to certain people so like if i'm talking to a guard something like that i might have some if i pick soldier i might have some soldier options in there um so i think i'm probably gonna go um um let's do barbarian soldier that sounds like fun i mean look at this this <laughs> scary boy face right here i've got going my little boy lizard um let's go um instruments i love the sound of the cello in this game especially when you get into like tense situations they, it has this really um really nice crescendo that goes on and it sounds super incredible so i like that a lot i'm trying to hunt it i wish i started with this gear i probably don't i'm probably in rags um so yeah i think that's it uh did i, I didn't pick my spells so i can do um battle stop i like a lot uh because it applies knockdown so like i said once you get the physical armor you can start doing cc um so i'm going to take battle stop and get some knockdown uh bouncing shield is great because even if you're not building to do a ton of damage bouncing shield uh the damage scales with your shield so the stronger your shield is the more damage the spell does um so even though i'm gonna be putting a lot of points in the constitution just get a tank here um i will just still be able to do a decent chunk of damage and this is aoe as well so it'll help out my damage um if my dps can't handle all of it um and then i think if crippling blow or batter ram batter ram is another aoe knockdown it also is a um dash so I think I'm going to take that just so I can reposition in a fight and also get more knockdowns as well as the bottle stop. So I have two AOE knockdowns. Um, Crippling Blow is okay. It stops them from moving. Oh, and I guess there's characters around it too. It just cripples them. does probably more damage. Yeah, it does more damage. It cripples them. Um, so they can't walk, but it doesn't knock down. So they still get an action. So if they're a ranger or something like that that I'm getting on, they're still going to do damage. Um, I think I'm going to start with Battering Ram. I can always get more spells as the game goes on. Um, there's a, I think it's your memory is your memory. You can add extra spell slots so you can have more spells. I just love all my memory. I think you get an extra spell per memory point spent. Um, so I'm just going to stick with the initial because I, I can't take more than three right now anyway. Um, all right. I think we're good. Um, let's do a name. Let's do thank you three. Keep it easy. It's caps lock. Thank you, Bert. All right, let's go. Firm. Yes, we're ready to go. All right, I will let you guys check out uh, this cutscene. It's actually kind of cool. It all happened like I knew it would. A single drop of sauce. to honey the monsters swarmed the rebel panicked the carnage began and the magisters pointed their fingers at me just as I'd planned I was shackled and collared and sent to Fort Joy I 
had come here to kill Godwoken. But instead, I became part of their story. All right, I'm excited. Let's go. So I guess the kind of the story behind this is we you have these people that have these this is called source magic. I guess they call them sorcerers, which I guess makes sense. Sorcerer, source magic, um, and uh, apparently attracts these monsters when you use source magic, or like it did when this woman used her magic anyway. Excuse me. Um, so I guess they're afraid of us now. They have have us prisoned on this Fort Joy. I guess we're on a it looks like we're on a boat right now, and I just judging by the shape of it and size. Um, excuse me. I'm sorry. Um, so now they have these collars on us. We'll end up learning some more of this as the story goes on. We have these source collars which stop our ability to use source. Um, so early game, we're not going to be able to use our source magic. We just had these basic abilities. Actually, I'm going to add my hot bar right here. I hate having basic attack in because you can just right click to do it. Um, how do I organize this? This is my, this is cool. This is my um, uh, lizard trait. You get to you be able to breathe fire, which is kind of cool. So it does a little bit of magic damage. So sometimes it might be nice. Um, so let's just move. Just keep CC up here and damage out of the way. These are this is a source spell or keep that away for now. Um resurrection scroll will be nice because um I'm probably gonna end up dying every once in a while. Source or resurrection scrolls are actually kind of common in this game, I feel like. It's not I, I feel like they kind of expect you or at least one of your party members to die every so often because they do throw a lot of resurrection scrolls at you. Uh potions, fire storm grenade. Um I'm probably gonna just gonna throw those in. A backpack and throw the backpack on my hopper. I think I can do that. Yeah, and I can open it during combat, things like that, and just use whatever in there just to save some space. And then I'll remove these. Um, just keep things kind of cleaner over here, I guess. Uh, I'll keep that separate as a trade ability. Let's relock. All right, I'm gonna quick save. Do I have a quick save option? Uh, I do have a quick save option, but I'll just overwrite that one. That was for my earlier attempt um i do have a quick save option but i'm pretty sure i programmed to the same as my stop recording button so i'm gonna have to um save every once in a while just so i don't lose too much progress if i end up dying all right let's get going there. not too tight i hope the collar i mean oh not to worry every dog has to get used to its leash this is one of the in my opinion one of the not best points of the game, but it's the small details, you know, a lot of the characters in this game are voice acted, which the amount of effort they put into making this game is incredible. The storyline is great. They have the voice acting. It's just so many small details they paid attention to that really make it a great playing experience. Um, so let's continue. In the meantime, your next stop will be Magister William. All passengers have to be registered in the ship's manifest, and he's the chap in charge of the law. You'll find him on the other side of this deck, in the officer's quarters. Okay, so this is where you see the soldier barbarian. These are the um, preset tags I made, so this is where the dialogue options come into play. So, uh, there, honestly, there's so much dialogue in this game. You have so many choices to make. Um, so, I can pull around my neck for you to demand, you know, why she called me. I can be a soldier. Just salute and go. Barbarian, grunt, like an actual barbarian. Um... I'm probably, because I'm a barbarian soldier, I feel like I'd be kind of a dick. So I'm probably going to play like that. Um, that's why she called me. Of mind, of course. Why don't you try casting one of those source spells of yours? See what happens. Um, yeah, I'd probably not be, not be inquisitive enough to be like, oh, it's just tricking me. So I'm probably just going to try to cast some magic at her. Inside you, boiling, bursting, then breaking. Only to fade back into your soul like rain into the earth. Super depressing. My, look at the concentration on your face. Oh, there you have it. See? The collar's function. It neuters you of sorts. Make for your own piece of I'm not going to listen to all the voice acting just because it's going to take a really long time. So uh, it's just enough to get the gist. Uh, for your own purpose, my, of course, in the world. Um, at this point, I'm probably like, I'm super screwed. I have no ability to cast magic. I'm probably just going to be like, all right, let's go. Merry weather. But you can stand at ease there, private. You do realize you're not in any army. In the army, just give me crap. Lips, she pauses a moment to give you a scrutinizing gander. My word, you do seem a bit befuddled, don't you? Perhaps I was <laughs> said it high as fuck. Oh well, I'm sure you'll soon gather your wits. Most likely, eventually. Oh, we're on route to Fort All right, let's go. Life, life waste my ass. We're in prison. Perhaps a cure as well. An end uh, to source. 
I haven't come across what this cure is, but I have a feeling it's probably like lobotomizing people. It's just like, all right, you're you're a sorcerer. Let's put a needle in your forehead. All right, let's go. Good gods, there's there's been a murder here. Oh, hello. The Magister, a blooded mass lies in a heap. Gore and limbs lie at odd angles. Oh my. Um. Amid the mess. I'm super there's curious now. The sorcerer was killed by one of your own. Lucky you were busy getting your collar fitted at the time, or you'll be a sus waters is invested. So I guess someone doesn't have a she collar on. Who did it. Always does. Um, lend a hand, Ashen you. That man always does. That sort of thing happens often. I'm curious. You're one of them. You know what sorcerers are capable of. Whoever did this, this guy's a source racist here. Small ones this time. Thank the god. We'll find out who did it. I'm gonna. Oh, I don't want to close the door. I want to walk inside and loot the bitch. I can't do that. All right. Oh, the red. The, I, the red obviously means stealing, so I guess I can't do that in front of a magister, which are like the cops of this. Burns me up. This happened under our protection. We're extremely lucky. No void walk and follow the source that did this. Uh, I'm gonna form her. She wasn't just protected. She was a captor. She's acting like she cares a lot. He was desperate for us to help him. Two things scared the living daylights out of him. His own will find out who Pansy, that's what it sounds like. Speak. She looks up at you with a mirthless smile. I was on duty in your room when the murder happened. Uh, so she knew we were sleeping her collar on. The whole time. Didn't even you're one of the only indisputably innocent people on the ship. Unless you can commit murder in your sleep. Uh who knows, maybe. Um I'm sure maybe you can. I am I'm sorry, sorry after all tell you a trick you haven't quite mastered. Ask you investigator fellow magisters as well, one of them could have easily done this. Um because they're destroyed by source, I'm gonna guess it probably wasn't a magister, or at least that's what it looks like. You see the source radiating off of them. It probably wasn't a magister, unless it's like an undercover source wielding magister here. Um, I'm gonna just be sarcastic. Uh, I just want to try quite mastered. Listen, I could use someone to keep their ears. <laughs> She's a snitch. That's what that sounds like. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Because I don't trust any of these people. How about that? Um, <laughs> shiny gold coin. Last she thinks you're deep magister. Someone keep on her lock and key. Uh, yeah, no. It's one of you who got killed, not one of us. We want to find who's your All right, fair. enemy. You let me know if you hear anything. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say you're my real enemy. Uh, it looks like it goes upstairs. I'm gonna go there after. Oh, Losa. Uh, that's uh, one of the origin characters. So I guess they have the, we're on the ship with the origin characters. Can I recruit them here? Because I know those. Yeah, here's Beast. Um, because I know the origin characters are the ones that you can end up picking up. So I'm gonna go talk to Losa. Oh. Tell this very charming <laughs> gaggle of not all brat like babes that I am by no accounts this loser woman, nor do I sing, in fact. I'm deathly, deathly allergic. <laughs> I like this chick. Uh, play along with Taker, Arm and Grin, Children I Must Be Mistaken. Ah, uh, hell yeah. How very correct you are, spouse of mine. Madam Josephine Gribbles de Peeve refuses to be confused with what? What's so funny? Her pinched face cracks into a great grin. And she shoes the children away from Yeah, okay, you found me out. Go <laughs> on and get and maybe I'll sing you something when I'm good. She turns to you, dark eyed and dirty haired, and smiling. Gotta keep ourselves entertained, haven't we? Yeah, no can uh say the same is true enough. Shake your hand unless you promise as she could find some more age appropriate companions, so you're more concerned with survival than entertainment. Uh I'm not gonna be a dick to her, I like her. The grand. Uh I should have anything but the murder that happened on board tell her she has to have a look around with you, watch those back. I want that. I want her to be at my party. <laughs> we play ball every day after lunch. That's just, she's blowing me off for the children. Okay. Fine, I'm not hurt at all. Um. Let's hear about the murder. Why not? Find anything out either. Ignorance is bliss. Okay, that's fine. I do like her. I'm, I'm gonna try to recruit her. I want, I want her to be on my team. run down her face, and her mouth tightens into as quickly as they came. The clouds clear. She smiles. Oh, maybe she's a sorcerer. I think. I'll have to see when we get to that point because if she's stuck as a sorcerer, like I said in the beginning, I really don't want to have mixed damage. Um, 
so we'll see. We might be able to pick what she is. We might be able to say like, you start as a sorcerer, but like we want you to be a ranger. So this is where I register. Uh, yeah, I've been through risk out of here. Bishop Alexander in charge, things will get a lot better from here on out. He's got more so this is one thing that always kind of confused me, because like I said, I played through the intro at least before, just to get a handle on this game. Um, he says Godwoken, which Godwoken are supposedly these like really powerful source mages. So if he's all powerful source mage, wouldn't they dislike him? But he's leading this little rebellion thing. So maybe he's just like scared of his own power or whatnot. I don't know. So he sounds like a creep. All right, let's go. Williams. And if she's standing at the center of the room, you spot a sorcerer haughtily eyeing a pair of nervous looking magisters. They keep their crossbow trained upon her as she's being interrogated. So you admit it then? You murdered that poor fella. Yes, I did. Oh, so she's the one that killed this guy. It was only the beginning. She had. She turns her head and looks you straight in the eye. There are others whose lives must end. <laughs> oh God. Get off! The woman's mad. You there, sorcerer? Go and fetch magic for right. anyone. We need to do more to follow this maniac. We need to shackle. So, this sounds like I don't want to not be on her team. Like she sounds like a badass if so she's killing people with a source collar on. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I stand. Uh, prefer to be creating mutiny. No, I also playing with the barbarian kind of style thing. Mutiny sounds great to me. I'll side with this woman. I'm afraid I always perform my part solo. Do stay and watch. <laughs> oh God. She reaches for her collar and simply removes. Oh shit. I'm just about to create a scene. Subdue her, man, quickly. If she can't solve. I think we're gonna get in a fight here. She smiles with wicked. Precise. All right, let's go. <laughs> this, is, this is uh quite the battle there um so i guess she just blows everybody up and gets out so i'm gonna go ahead and loot these guys see if i can get a weapon to fight my way off the ship Ooh, one one physical armor uh so the physical armor stuff is what i was talking about in the beginning if you See if I put these pants on here. Uh, this bar over my health. I have my physical armor here, and my this will end up being magic armor if I ever get any on. So in order to CC anybody, things like that, uh, cripple, knockdown, stun, um, you need to get through the type of armor that that spell requires. So like my knockdowns, I need to get fully through their physical armor before I can actually knock them down. So otherwise, it's just kind of a low damage ability. Um, so that's why I really want somebody who's just like straight DPS, probably range, just to keep them out of harm's way because they're going to be softer because they're doing a lot of damage. So they can knock down their armor. I can keep them in place. So kind of get that going here. Um, oh, we have a chest over here. Um, oh, okay. We have shield, <laughs> knife on a stick, OP sword here. Uh, I'm probably just going to take this. Sh These are worth what? They'll take them all. They're worth 60. Um, I think we get two vendors in, um, I don't want a knife. I think I want a sword. Pretty good. Cool. Oh, can backstab. I'm not going to be backstabbing on a rogue. So obviously the knife on stick is better than knife. Um, so here we go. All right. Uh, let's see if there's anything in here. No. General looting. Lock. I don't care that much. I don't. Uh, journals on books though I f in this uh, there's a lot of things in this game that are based off of texts you read or there's some like puzzles and stuff and you can also learn abilities and skills and recipes that kind of thing um so you should read every book you come across just because it's always useful i feel like uh i'll just go in here everything's on fire so i'm guessing we're screwed Oh, there's a um, talent called, what's it called? It's called Pet Pal, which allows you to actually speak with animals. I would really like to get that at some point. Not long before this thing snaps into splinters. <laughs> Beer rocks and water arrow. So nothing nothing worthwhile here. Except for the beer, of course. Damn it. I need to get off this wreck quick. All right, let's go. I'm just going to walk through this fire because I give no fucks. Uh, I'm just going to loot everybody. Oh yeah, I forgot if I hold tab, I can actually just see the bodies on the ground and everything around me. Places. Something's pounding on the hull. 
food. Uh, I don't know how important food is in this game. I think it probably just ends up restoring health, things like that. So it's like an out of combat potion, if I were to guess. Um, this is some like roars and fighting and shit coming from outside. So I'm gonna guess her using magic brought more source to, or more void woken, I guess they call them, like we saw in the cutscene. Uh, it's not gonna let me walk through the fire. Like I said, I don't care about the fire because your uh, your shields and armor regenerate. Oh, it gets into this death fog room, I guess. Which that doesn't sound like fun. And are suddenly face to face with an undead. His skull is bizarrely angular, and a the skeleton is quickly leaping through a volume of Cranley Hubert's famous insight. No, no, this no. What damn fools record knowledge on a pulse? It catches fire. It turns into musk when wet. It cannot even resist acid. The skeleton looks up and notices. Oh, yes. Shouldn't you be running? <laughs> so, uh, I don't think I want to attack him. He'll probably murder me. Um, this seems like a stupid question because he's undead, but it's better than attacking him. Like, what's the worst case he's gonna have? He's gonna drown. But I don't think so. He's no longs. Frantically flipping from page to page. I know your god did not gift you with much, but kindly use the <laughs> things making fun of us here. Think, yeah, 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 this is someone's gonna drown. Someone with to dr no, damp robes are the most I have to fear. Whereas, all right, I like this guy. I wonder if I recruit him. It'd be kind of cool having undead. I've never played with an undead on my team, but I know things like poison and appealing them rather than damaging them, but healing potions and stuff like that will damage them, so it's kind of the opposite. Um. Kind of stands out. Um, yeah, let's do this one. Oh, uh, so this is uh, when you're undead. As far as I understand, if you walk into a city, things like that, um, and you're undead, the magician will be like, Yo, what the hell? You're you're a skelly man. You're a little spooky. Um, so you can like cut faces off people you kill and wear them, so that they disguise you if you put a hood up. Um, so gruesome as fuck. Which allowed me to take that primitive a mask that was stolen by that damned witch after her little still <laughs> drowned with the rest of these. So she blew up the ship, then took this guy's face. My mask from her cold, dead hands. Uh, I could say he's not going to say he was. I suppose. I'm, I'm just done with him. One of your race's weaknesses is having your lungs filled with water until you can no longer. Let's try to avoid drowning. Thanks, man. Leaping through page after page. While hunching over the book in a futile attempt to keep it. I don't know what he's reading. Ooh, note. So this is what I said earlier. It's good to read everything. Um, Riktoff, death fog barrels have been locked down in storage. Stay out in you and Rick's both. If anyone starts fooling around down here, it'll be lights out. Oh, so that must be what's behind this door, the death fog door, which is what that key goes to. Um, I'm gonna open it anyway. Just let's let's quick save here. Uh, yeah, we'll write that one. Just in case we get murdered. Yeah, so this is the death fog room. <laughs> I might just die here. The door groans open. Oh shit, okay. Oh, oh. Oh, so one of those tentacles were just destroyed the death fog. So, can I get into this guy? Because I feel like just the part of the effects are where it ends. It log. Nice. Um, I'm going to see if I can get close enough. I can. Alright, goodbye. See, that's why it would be nice to have like an undead, because they could walk through that fog, I think. And just not care, because I assume it's just a poison effect. Did I open this already? Yeah, I did. All right, let's go outside. <laughs> oh, so these are uh, void woken. So yeah, they they were attracted when she um when she used her source magic. So I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna AOE these boys with my shield. Yes, they have no magic or physical armor, so I can probably just knock them down fairly easy. Um, so anyway, if you look down here, these right here, these are my action points. So each ability costs like a battery ram costs two action points. Um, so that's how much it costs to use an ability. So you have that many action points per turn. And then up here is the initiative order. 
Um, so I'm probably just going to get close enough to knock them both down. I can do that. Yeah, so this is why CC is so good because you just completely skip their turn when they're CC'd. Um, so I'm probably just going to go for it again. Because after each combat, your abilities reset. Um, they also, as you can see these cooldowns. Um, I want to see what this looks like, so I'm just going to breathe fire on him. That's actually super cool. Um, and with one, I don't think I have enough to do anything. Oh, it's always dead to fire anyway. Apparently, if you're sitting in fire, you take damage per turn. So a little DOT. Nothing. All right. Uh... <laughs> oh, that's that's what's happened up there. Uh, you see this on the ground? It's like oil. If you light oil on fire, obviously it explodes. Um, I think I can just move stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so oh, it's gonna go out anyway. I guess fire goes out after a certain amount of time, especially because it's raining. Obviously. Um, I would like to. I don't care. Take some damage. I think my magic armor will just anyway because I have the shield. Makeshift wand. Anything else up here? No. All right, let's get out. That actually, I love the way that looked. That looks super cool. Um, I guess there's a light boat. Let's get out of here. Bye. Children and dwarfs first. Children dwarfs first. The loser. <laughs> oh god, we're gonna go back, aren't we? Um, Charles, be with my feet because it's right. Say, I'll go back to the lower deck and look for survivors. Uh, I'm gonna call this guy out because he's kind of a, being a prick. As you can just go home, I don't care. Oh, so we're just back. There wasn't anybody down here when we ran through. Apparently there are now. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just... The, the one thing that does annoy me about this game is when you get consumables or letters and stuff like that, they go into your hot bar immediately as you pick them up. Um, there are mods for that, I believe. I might download those and use those just so I don't have to deal with it because I feel like it's going to get annoying having just my hot bar full of consumables if I already have them in my backpack. Um, anyway, let's go. Um... I think anything's close enough to... I thought that might be close enough for the bounce. Yeah, yeah, That's worth it. Um, I think it's probably in range. No, it's not. Actually, I have some move action. Does it get range? Yeah, it does, maybe. Give it knock them both down. Okay, I'm good. Too clean. Oh, so these are all the origin characters. I guess you get to see what kind of spells they use. Here's Los. So Los is a sorcerer, it looks like. Um, but like I said, I think I can probably end up choosing um, choosing their class when you have them join your team. I'm not sure, though. If not, I'll probably go with Sabeel because it looks like she's a rogue. And I do want physical damage. The only thing I have with that is, though, if she is a straight rogue, I feel like she's really vulnerable, especially when it's... Uh, 2v however many enemies we're facing instead of the normal four so we'll see like i said i prefer to have lois just because i kind of like her personality um but that's kind of cool petrification is super cool there's a couple abilities you can get like a medusa head that aoe petrify is super super cool that was an easy ass fight all right let's get out of here Get out of here. Uh, can I not get out? Oh god. <laughs> uh, it's a it's a looker. Let's cut scene play.
I have plans for you, child. Rise. Honorable Dallas, we lost a ship sailing sorcerer prisoners to Fort Joy. We assume some escaped and broke their collars. Their vile magic lured the Voidwoken. All who were aboard are presumed dead. Yours faithfully into eternity. High Judge Oriban. All right, so it looks like we just apparently there's a giant void woken under the sea that can destroy our boats. So that's what happened to us. And then that voice, um, I'm not 100% sure what that was. It's just we're resurrected by some mysterious voice in the sky that pulls out of the water. Either we're imagining that or there's like some god that cares highly about us, or deeply about us. All right, so I think we're going to end up on the shores of Fort Joy because like they, they said in that letter at the end there, they're saying... They think some escape they presume everybody dead but i'm sure there's some escape so well, obviously we escape because we were saved by this magical sky man um but anyway i think that's where we're going to end it has been a decently long video um so if you did enjoy this video please leave a like and comment um if you'd like to see more please subscribe and we'll see you next time have a good one